So guys, if you are a surgical resident or a PG student if, uh, in any of the surgical fields out there and you want to know how to take a surgical knot, so what I'm going to do today uh, is going to show you a few methods of how you can take a surgical knot with your hand if you do not want to use a surgical uh, instrument like the archery forceps and the suture needle holder forceps. So uh, what I have here is with me is I'm going to give you a demonstration. So what I have here is the uh, demo uh, tie, surgical tie. So in actual real surgery, you're going to use the, uh, the surgical suture. So the first uh, method is that uh, this is going to be a simple surgical knot. So what you're going to do is that you're going to have this as a left and the right side you gotta hold both of them uh, like this as I'm showing you so this is called as a pinch grasp so you're gonna hold it like this uh, with your palms facing upwards so and this what you see over here is the area of the uh, surgical uh, area we want to repair so that's gonna be that so what you see here is you're gonna hold it like this uh, with your palms facing upwards with a pinch grasp and you're gonna keep the left hand the way it is right now. now what you're gonna do is on the right hand listen and look very closely so I'm gonna rotate that so that my uh, palm faces downwards and I'm gonna use these three fingers like this uh, above this suture I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna turn it like this so it looks like something like this and I'm gonna make this left hand suture come over my right hand over these three fingers so that these two are parallel now so when I do this after that what I'm gonna do is take my middle finger I'm gonna pinch the middle finger over the left side suture along with it make it come to the right side make my finger go like this and I'm gonna pinch it and remove this suture outside like this so I get a proper surgical knot okay so if you uh, want to look it at very closely, so I'll show you it at a closer look over here. So uh, this is the area where I'm going to do my surgery. I want to close this area by a surgical knot. So once you insert the needle through both the ends of the wound, what you're going to do is that this is a left and that's the right suture. So look very closely. Now I am holding it on a pinch grasp uh, method. So the left is going to stay the same. The right is going to do all the movements. So I'm going to rotate my palm facing downwards. These three fingers are going to automatically go above it. I'm going to hold it like this. So and now I'm going to do it like this. So as you can see over here, these two become now parallel. Now the main step lies here. So I'm going to bring my middle finger under the string along with my left string. I'm going to come back above like this. And at the same time, I'm going to take this back outside. So as you can see over here, I have a pretty good surgical knot. So you can do either this way or you can just swap these two and have a similar knot but in a very much more efficient manner. So as you can see it for yourself, it is now having a good base. I can lift this up actually without even fearing the tie of getting loose. Now, the second method I'm going to show you is a very simple method but many surgeons don't follow that because they first of all don't know about it because uh, to be honest, quite frankly, the young surgeons are not ever thought about it. So I'm going to show you that method. So what you're going to do is that uh, first of all, you're going to take the left hand side to be a longer suture and the right a bit shorter. So what you're going to do is uh, you're going to use the same method again over here. You're going to take a surgical knot like this, but that's the first knot, right? So what you're going to do is in your left hand, you're going to keep it under tension whereas your right hand is going to be loose. So you try to make a knot but that should not go up to the last extent. See as you can see there's a small gap still left in here. So now what you're going to do is take a second suture, take a second suture with the same way or whatever way you prefer to do it and now keeping this left suture under tension again now i'm gonna pull it i'm gonna pull it and now i'm gonna apply pressure so as you can see over here if i bring this real close to you this is a better suture and now it has become really tight okay 
so now this has become really tight it's now it's never gonna be loose again so that's how you prevent from suture to a uh, gape okay so the gape won't happen now the third method I'm gonna show you here is really simple uh, so what you have to do is that now remember the first time when I showed you you are holding your suture like a pinch uh, grass method but not anymore for this what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna hold the suture with your four fingers like this and you're gonna take your thumb under the suture and bring it up like this so look very carefully so it's gonna be like this I'm gonna hold the suture with all my four fingers like this I'm gonna bring my thumb under the suture like this so it looks something like this and then I'm gonna take my right hand suture gonna crisscross the both sutures so that they form a figure of eight now what I'm gonna do is that the lower quadrant of the figure of eight I'm gonna insert my index finger and I'm gonna bring the right hand under that as you can see I'm gonna pinch it back up and there I have my suture so as you can see over here the suture is very well placed on the as you can see over here the suture is very well placed on the lateral end as you can see over here this becomes the lateral or the outer peripheral end of the suture margin so this is really gonna have a good healing effect so it's not in the center like this it's actually in the periphery when I first did it so that is how uh, the method was so I'm gonna show you it to you again in a very slow manner look very carefully so you're gonna hold the suture like this on your four fingers you're gonna grasp that real careful you're gonna make your thumb go underneath the suture like this you're gonna crisscross both the sutures so that you get a figure of eight as you can see on the screen right now now you're gonna take your after you form the figure of eight you're gonna take your index finger make it go inside the lower quadrant of the figure of eight so that as you can see now I have a crab or you can say a claw ready to pinch my lower suture like this so I'm pinching it right now and I'm gonna take it outside from here and there you have it that's the suture for you guys so it's pretty best as you can see again the moment I take the suture now I'm not gonna touch it so as you can see over here the suture is well placed on the lateral aspect and this was the wound which was uh, gaping and because of the suture well placed laterally uh, it is gonna have a really good effect on healing so these this is how the three different methods which I normally use in my surgeries or thyroid or any neck surgeries so this is how you can learn it so I hope you really find this video helpful and I hope you become a good surgeon I mean the best surgeon out there take care